today I'm doing something different. I've been I've been uh, going live every day until the release of Dragon Ball Sparking. I've been doing this five month marathon. I think uh, I don't know how many days, but I feel like it's been at least a month now. But um, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of videos talking about the roster, uh, just the things they've been noticing uh, at the demo and some other stuff. And uh, I can say there is certain people on the internet that i'm not going to say their names here just because i don't want to you know why why would i that'll be adding gasoline to the fire so i'm strictly just here to just be here what you guys came for i don't think the base roster is going to be 164 characters i'm going to prove why i think that and at the same time i'm going to show you guys the undeniable roster that this game is going to have um with proof of why these characters are going to make the cut in, in the mindset of thinking if the game has 164 characters. So the the company, no one from the company have ever stated what the limit um, or the roster amount was. So that's still in the air. But they did give us this um, character selection screen that we're going to, well, I'm not even going to call it the character selection screen because we know this ain't it. We have like this, this panel with a bunch of hexagons or uh, hexagons that showcases these characters. And we're gonna use these. Uh, shout out to my boy Globku for creating this roster. Um, I was able to you know, Google Drive this and add on these icons that he also provided. Some of the characters weren't in, so Globku, I'm gonna test you on your Dragon Ball Z knowledge. I was able to find you know, bootlegged images and place them in there so you guys have at least a depiction of what I'm talking about. So underneath me, I have, um, and if it's if the words are too small, I'm gonna edit it to make it like larger for you guys. But underneath me, I have um, this list of the characters. So these are all characters that are divided by sections that were either confirmed to be in the game already, um, characters that are in Tenkaichi 3 that should carry over, as well as characters from Super and whatnot. Don't worry about the colors that I have them highlighted in. So we have Goku Z early, which is right here. Then we have Goku Z mid, which is up here, which also has his Super Saiyan form. Then we have Goku Z end, which I believe is right here. So we're going off of characters that are 100% going to be in the game. I'm sorry, I just kind of just started off going into the roster, but these are going to be characters that were confirmed because they were in the trailer. They were confirmed because they were in a screenshot of a game or they were confirmed because, um, oh, the demo, right? We had demo footage of them actually being playable. So those are, this is the first category of characters that we're going in. So you cannot argue that they're not in the game because they are. Then we have, um, of course, Goku Super, which is right here. We have his base form, his Super Saiyan form, his Super Saiyan God form, his Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan form. That's the thing. This roster is going to be so humongous. You're going to just get lost at losing the character. I already can't find him. So we have great uh, Vegeta Scouter and then his grade 8 form. Then we have Vegeta Mid. So this is going to have his Super Saiyan 1 and his Super form. And I think over here we have Vegeta End, which is going to be his, uh, super, his base form, Super Saiyan 1. Super Saiyan 2 and then we have the Majin. Me and my friend discussed about this because Majin Super Saiyan 2 is kind of like the same thing as Super Saiyan 2. So we were wondering if there's going to be like a costume that alternates what his Super Saiyan 2 transformation looks like. Whether, you know, it's the one after the Majin transformation where he just goes straight into 2 or if this one is going to be during the Majin transformation, so when you go Super Saiyan 2, you get a unique transformation with the M mark. Or it can just be where this dude has three evolutions. I'm fine with whatever. Yeah, just so you guys know, certain costumes has the ability to change or alter the character's abilities, even ultimates. Then right here we have Vegeta base, and that comes with, um, you know, Vegeta super base form, Super Saiyan form, Super Saiyan God form, and then the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan form. Um, we already know that for Goku, 
uh, he can utilize Ultra Instinct as a skill for his super character variant. And then Vegeta can utilize the uh, Limit Breaker as a skill in his super variant. And ignore the pictures by Kid Gohan. But we have Kid Gohan. Then we have Teen Gohan base form, Super Saiyan 1 form, and Super Thing right here. Then we have Gohan adult form. So this is going to have his base form, his Super Saiyan 1 form, Super Saiyan 2, and then his Great Saiyan Man transformation. Then we have Gohan Future, which is, I believe, right here. We have his base form and then his Super Saiyan form. Then we got your boy Yajirobe down here chilling. Of course, we have Android 17, but this is his super variant. I want you to I want you to remember that. It's his super variant. Then we have Android 18 from Z. Then we have Anilaza. Remember, these are characters that are 100% in the game. Don't mind the character or yeah mind the what is it don't mind the characters that are that you guys notice already i'm going to get to those but the characters i'm naming out right now are characters that are 100 percent confirmed we have beerus then we have bergamo right here we have brawly super but this is going to include his base form his super saiyan one form and then the legendary transformation then over here we got birder in the same area, we're also getting uh, Khalifa base form and then her Super Saiyan 2 form. And then, do, 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 do. then we got Perfect uh, Cell. So this is just Perfect Cell. Then we got my boy Deborah. Deborah made it. Of course, he's in the game. If you guys know Diamond, you know why. Then we have my boy Dispo. Then we have Frieza Super, which is his uh, base final form. And then the golden transformation. Even in the same area, we're getting uh, Zamasu. We're also getting Zamasu fused. And then corrupted form of Zamasu. So I'm sure you need uh, Goku Black in your team. And then you do fusion, you can turn into him. And then there might be another transformation. Uh, positioning has no correlation to like, there's no meaning with the position. I just threw him in there too to like fit. But we have Goku Black and then Goku Black Rose for these two forms being confirmed in the game. Then of course we have Gogeta base form, which is cool. Super Saiyan 1 form and Super Saiyan Blue. Um, these two are the newest, like we never played a Gogeta like this in the Tenkaichi game. Spopovich is going to be in the game. Pay attention to that one. Down here you also see uh, Ultra Instinct Omen or sign form for uh, Goku. Then there's also uh, a mastered Ultra Instinct form for Goku. So I'm not sure if this one's going to be like, um, like, I'm not sure if it's going to be like, they're gonna give us another variant of Goku that can transform into those things, or Goku uh, Ultra Instinct is actually going to transform into the mastered Ultra Instinct form. And of course, you know, you have to give Goten his Super Saiyan 1 form. Then we have uh, Kid Trunks, and then Kid Trunks has his Super Saiyan 1 form. And then, of course, they have their fusions, which is Gotenks, which is going to include the base form, the Super Saiyan 1 form, and then the Super Saiyan 3. Don't ask me why there's no 2. I don't They just, hey, they skipped it. Then we have Hit. I considered Hit's uh, full concentration mode, where he ages himself through time to be stronger. I, I was going to consider that as a transformation, but now like looking at how they did Ultra Instinct with Goku, I feel that they might just make that a skill thing. Then we got the J's. We got, we have Jice being confirmed in the game. We also have Jiren being confirmed in the game. This is uh, including his full power form as well. Yeah, Cocoons have made it in, onto the, the base roster. We have Kel. Kel is getting her Super Saiyan 1 form and then her legendary Berserk form. We're also getting the, fu uh, the fusion between the two. So this is going to be Kefla, which uh, is going to have a Super Saiyan 1 and a Super Saiyan 2 form. Oh, next we have, um, we have Krillin. People were saying that they wish that Krillin had another variant like a Super Krillin. I don't, I don't think we need another Krillin. To be honest, we don't need another Krillin. I, I'm cool with him getting costumes and stuff that can change his his uh, his skills, but I don't think he needs like a whole new character variation for him. 
Shout out to Krillin. Of course, we're getting Majin Buu, uh, the fat Majin Buu. Then we're getting the OG Master Roshi, which is going to include his full power form as well. Then we have your boy, Mr. Satan, which is like the Johnny Cage of Dragon Ball. Then over here, we have Nappa. Again, mind the surrounding pictures. Don't pay attention to it. Then, of course, we got your boy Piccolo chilling right here. And then we also are getting Re... How you pronounce your name? Re Brienne. We're getting her. Rosie. So we're getting her as well. Guys, I'm straining my eyes trying to look for these characters. You guys don't see it because I'm cutting it. But I have to search for these characters before I like talk about them. We got your boy Tien. This is cool. But we're getting your boy Topo. You know, don't look at the surrounding pictures. Now you guys got to pay attention to this one. Oh, right here. All right. So we have Trunks Super. And this is uh, Sword Trunks Super um his base form and then his super saiyan transformation which has like a hint of super saiyan rage i realize i feel like okay ben, if you guys are looking at this please can you make their can you make the blue kind of sparkle more or like i like how it kind of appears here and then to signify it but you guys didn't even make his eyes white like there's no rageness in this this is like him calming it down and mastering i want to see that rage form so if you guys can like hint that out in any of his supers or probably alter his transformation that'll be that'll be sick and then you have you know you get his base form and then his super saiyan one form as well then of course we're getting uh your boy trunks melee so this is going to bring his hold on i felt to add like base form of trunks melee which is going to be like base form trunks melee then he goes into super saiyan then super trunks where he's super buff this character right here, we'll come back to him, but I'll just act like he's not here. This will be base trunks. So this makes sense. We're getting base form Vegito and then Super Saiyan form Vegito and then Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. We're almost done with the confirmed list. Next, we have Videl. So she's also confirmed on the base roster. We're also getting um, Whis on my Yamcha mains. So surprisingly, we have Bardock confirmed. So this dude was in the background screenshot of the gameplay. And you that looks like a full out cinematic. So we have Bardock for sure, which is crazy because, well, if you guys look at the background, it's, it's dark because he's probably in his ultimate, but there's cities. So I don't know if that's confirming another map. But the background of Bardock is confirming that one Tenkaichi 3 map. I can't say it off my off my head, but... And finally, the last character that you guys are probably wondering that's on this base roster. Chaozu. So those are all the characters. All 106 characters that are going to be in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Confirmed. 100%. You cannot argue. We already know almost half or two-thirds of the roster already before the game's out the game's out in three months ish so 106 characters now i'm going to tell you that i can confirm another 30 ish characters that are going to be in this roster a hundred percent i well i put 99.9 percent .9 just to be safe but i can a hundred almost a hundred percent guarantee you these characters are going to be in the game we have starting with Kui. Kui is going to be in the game because there was a picture, I believe, of Vegeta fighting Kui. Plus, we have the move Dirty Fireworks. We all know who he uses that moves against. But Kui is, is he's the required fodder. He's the required character for the strong characters to feel strong against, if you know what I'm saying. Kid Goku. This was also like a leaked image where it showed him doing Dragon Fist, like the old school one. Ultimate Gohan. Ultimate Gohan is for sure going to be in this game because we have the Buu Saga. He may be a transformation for Gohan adult, but if not, he could be his own character. Cybermen, a lot of people said Cybermen shouldn't be in the game. He's going to be in the game. He, he killed Yamcha, bro. He is one of those required fodders as well. Then, um, because it's like when we're playing the story mode, who are they going to have us fight? They can't just skip to the villains. They're going to have these weaklings. There's no reason that, um, they said that statement about weak characters will be weak 
and strong characters will be strong if they're not going to have weak characters in their game. Zarbon is going to be in the game. Then we have just Raccoon. Surprisingly, we've been seeing a Frieza that transforms into Golden Frieza. So I feel I'm feeling that there's going to be an alternate Frieza, right, for Z. And that Frieza is going to include his base form, his second form, the third form, the final form, and then you have his 100% full power form right here where he's super bulky. So I feel like we're getting two Frieza's with this one. And then um there's, there's a reason why I'm not mentioning certain icons is because they're in different categories. Like, a base form might be confirmed in the roster, but the transformation I might not be 100% for you guys. So, that's why I didn't mention monster form of Zarbon yet. But, yeah, we have those Frieza's confirmed in the game. Um, then we have... I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible. Then we have Cell's uh, Imperfect form semi-perfect form or second form then we have already confirmed the perfect form but we have his full power perfect form so this is after he killed goku and absorbed him and technically became super saiyan 2 now it's weird to me it's weird to me that we're getting kefla super saiyan 1 and super saiyan 2 right we're getting kale super saiyan 1 and legendary why give Khalifa just one transformation why just go to straight to two so I'm 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 going to guarantee that she's also going to have a Super Saiyan 1 form my bootlegged picture Super Saiyan 1 then we have Android 20 or Dr. Duro of course we have Mecha Frieza no we have to have the other Android goat Android 19 during Summer Games Fest Afro Senju or some someone who went to Summer Games Fest and got a chance to play the game mentioned that the developers weren't allowed to mention a lot about Kid Gohan. And you know why? Which is the same reason that I will explain later in my points why there's no nighttime um, stages in the demo. Because a feature in Tenkaichi was that Saiyans with their tails were able to go into grade 8 form if it was nighttime. They will look at the moon and, you know, the transformation will begin. Special characters like Vegeta, where um, they utilize the technique where they had the same feature reaction in their energy orb and they'll throw it up. And I think King Vegeta did this as well. But Gohan, that's why there's no nighttime maps on these demos. That's why they haven't showed us anything nighttime yet. And I feel like it's because of this feature. Because Kid Gohan is getting his grade 8 form. And they cannot, this was a staple in all Tenkaichi games. They cannot like spend so much money on a grade 8 feature just to have Vegeta be the only look at Analaza they have that dude in there you can obviously tell that they're trying to take advantage of their giant character mechanics so they're not going to just trash Vegeta as the only grade 8 character in this game they're going to have they want they want us to create what ifs they want these themes to exist in the games for sure whether it's going to be DLC later on but I feel like the grade 8 team is um, it's like a damn i'm stuttering it's a must for the kid boo is a uh almost 100 percent guaranteed in this game i have to say almost which is sad because the the company didn't officially show any gameplay of him yet but buhan is going to be in the game as well if they have khalifa if they have hit they're not going to ignore the other universe six gang we're getting our boy we're getting frost yeah Frost, base form, and then final form, which is going to be so sick because we have another, I don't know what they call Frieza's race, but we have another one. You know, back then we only had Cooler, Frieza, and King Cold, but now we're getting more to the family, so that's cool. We're also getting Kaba. This is going to have his Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan 2 transformation. Um, that's why I feel like Super Saiyan 1, Khalifa, is justified because... They're giving all of these characters two transformations. So I feel like they're not going to mess up that pattern by making Khalifa just skip one. But those are all the characters that I can say with a shadow, without a shadow of a doubt, that they are going to be in the roster. Those are 132 characters that I just confirmed for you guys in the game, leaving only, what, 32 spots left for other characters that we haven't mentioned yet. So, you guys, if you guys don't agree with me, please mention down in the comments why 
the characters I just mentioned up to this point aren't going to be in the game. I I'm I can prove to you guys why they are, and you guys probably already 100% know. So I'm just saying this for those who don't believe me. But 132 characters confirmed in this game. Out of the 32 spots that I just mentioned, I'm going to skip over characters that were in Tenkaichi games, right? Because I'm trying to approach this with the mindset of only 164 characters, as well as the mindset that they want this to be a game of revolving Z and Super, right? So I'm gonna have to give Super priority with, the, with those remaining 32 slots. Surprisingly, Super, it, it does have a lot of characters that could fill up those 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 slots but when you look at like the meat of the story and when they talked about that they wanted to pull characters that had like a role and an impact and um viewership in the show there's not that many characters that you guys can kind of argue that could be in the game from super so i have i'm gonna just start off by naming characters right from this list of characters that I put as candidates from the super roster. Rebrianna, her giant form, Champa, Valdos, Grand Priest, Zeno, the Zeno Guard, uh, Mai, Dende, Jaco, Gowasu, Basil, Lavender, Obni, Mageta, Botamo, Sionel or Perina, Ganos, Ganos Transformation, um, Koi Charetam, I don't know how to pronounce that robot's name, um, but he, yeah, he's with Dr. Paparoni. And Topo, God of Destruction. Those are all the Dragon Ball Super candidates. I see, look, I can say the Gods of Destructions and the Angels. Personally, I would be okay if they just made those as skins for right now. They could drop them as DLC later, but it's weird because the next DLC that we're getting is only focused around dragon ball super heroes and daima no dragon ball super so i feel like the characters that they want super representation are going to be in the base roster automatically so if they wanted the gods of destruction to be in the game they could just make them costumes for beerus and Whis, or you know vados and um Champa, you know now i have characters highlighted in red these characters are characters that i really don't believe would make the cut the characters that aren't highlighted are going to be characters that i believe are going to make it into the base roster which is going to take up those 32 slots i mentioned earlier which is champa that means valdos makes it then i think jaco is going to be 100 percent in this game basil and lavender the thing is is that that was all of this is all of universes one characters right here that actually did anything because i think their team got wiped out in one episode you guys don't know who this character is if you guys didn't watch the show but this guy name is obni this dude was the only guy who did anything in his universe so i feel like if they're going to have universe representation he would be in this game for sure Magetta is going that's not him Megeta is going to be in the game because Megeta was part of that whole universe six versus seven thing. So he has to be for sure in that roster. And he's part of universe six. So I feel like out of every character, universe six will get the most representation. That being said, Botamo is going to make the roster. For the picture, I only put Sionel, but I feel like they can have him have like a costume that can like, you know, alternate between the two because they're super similar. After uh, Sionel, I told you guys to remember this guy in your back of the head when I was talking about the base form trunks. Um, Honestly, yeah, to make this roster work, I, I'm i leaning more towards the possibility that instead of giving this guy a whole transformation, they might just have him transform into this in his ultimate. Or they might just give us him. Like they might just give us one character. Um, that robot that I failed to name correctly earlier, Koei Chiratan, he's going to be in the game because I know that this game is going to have some sort of theme with robot versus robot, right? They might do some OG pass and throw peel off machine in there and they want us to see how we would want to see that interaction. So I feel like 
um, Auto Mageddon is not going to be the only robot in this game. This guy would make sense because then they don't have to they don't have to make Doctor Paparoni a character. They would just have Doctor Paparoni pop up in a cutscene for this guy when they initiate the fusion, which gives us Annie Laza. So I feel like that's why um, Annie Laza is in the game. They're kind of teasing that this robot is going to be in the game as well. The final character from Super, and I hope you guys can guess it. Topo got a destruction. 13 characters. It's because a lot of characters from, from Super didn't really have transformations. But that's 13. And then a lot of characters from Super, they kind of already showed in the trailers. But that's 13 characters from the 32 um, available character slots that we can throw in here. That leaves 19 spots left from the Tenkaichi, from the original Tenkaichi uh, 3 roster. 19 spots now if you're looking at this list on the bottom right hand side the characters highlighted in red are the ones that are making it now i'm going to just list the characters from tinkaichi 3 that did not um been confirmed yet and then i'm going to list you the characters from that list of the ones i believe that's going to make it on this roster so starting off with the characters that haven't been mentioned that were from Tenkaichi 3 was Goku GT, Goku GT Super Saiyan 1, his Super Saiyan 3 transformation, and then his Super Saiyan 4 transformation. Then we have Great Saiyan Woman, then we have Vegeta GT, Vegeta GT Super Saiyan 4, then we have Gogeta Super Saiyan 4, then we have Oob, Majub, Pam, Nell, Supreme Kai, Kabito Kai, Raid 8's Great Ape, Raditz, Great Ape, Nappa, Great Ape, Ginyu, Godo, Monster Zarbon, um, Dodoria, Apul, Frieza Soldier, Android 16, Cell Jr., Evil Boo, Babidi, Super Boo, Super Boo, Go Tanks Absorb, Bardox, Great Ape, Devil Man, Kid Chi Chi, Fasha, King Vegeta, Fasha, Great Ape, King Vegeta, Great Ape, Garlic Jr., Super Garlic Jr., Dr. Willow, Turles, Kid Goku Grade 8, Turles Grade 8, Lord Slug, Lord Slug Giant, Salsa, King Cold, Cooler, Metal Cooler, Cooler Final Form, Brawly Z, Brawly Z Super Saiyan 1, Brawly Z Legendary Super Saiyan, King Piccolo, Tambourine, General Blue, Android 8, Grandpa Gohan, Zongya, Bojack, Bojack full power, Janimba, fat form, then Janimba transformation, Pycon, Tapion, Harutagon, Baby Vegeta, Baby Vegeta Super Saiyan 1, Baby Vegeta Super Saiyan 2, Baby Vegeta Grade 8, Super 17, Android 13, Android 13 fused, uh, Nova Shinron, Sin Shinron, Omega Shinron, uh, Tile, Cyborg Tao, the Pilaf Machine, the Pilaf Machine Fused, Aureli, and Nam. That was all the characters from Tenkaichi 3 that have not been, you know, mentioned yet. So the characters highlighted in red are going to be characters that are, are for sure going to make it on this roster. And it, it, it hurts me, but... When I was doing this cutting, that's when I realized that the roster can no way be 164. It can't, but I made it I made it possible to where it could. The first character that would make it is Great Saiyan Woman. They can't have Great Saiyan Man in this game if they don't have Great Saiyan Woman. We have Raditz Great Ape, then we have of course Nappa Great Ape, Captain Ginyu. He's going to be in here. Speaking of Captain Ginyu, I can for sure see them seeing them make a alternative costume for him to where he has the the Dragon Ball Super look when he's with um, Frieza during the Resurrection of F movie. Of course, if we have Ginyu, we have Goldo. And now you can see why I'm finally coming back to Monster Zarbon. And since Zarbon was in the game, you can't have him without the other, which is Dodoria, because. Dodoria and Zarbon were key moments in the Dragon Ball uh, Frieza art. So yeah, the next one we're getting though, that's for sure in the game, is Android 16. 
um, because of our boys' most traumatic experience, they need Cell Juniors. Cell Junior have to be in the game because who else can we like, re you know, release all that anger out with Gohan Super Saiyan 2 again? Now, if they put Spopovich in the game, you cannot tell me that my boy Bobbity isn't going to be in the game either. Now, you're, I know what you're saying. Bobbity shouldn't be in the game. He, he shouldn't. No one used him. People used him. Bobbity was that character that showcased other characters. So, if you look at Captain Ginyu and Dragon Ball Fighters, Captain Ginyu utilizes his other members like Birder, Jice, Goldo. You can't play those characters in the game, but it's cool to see those characters be represented by Captain Ginyu. That's what Bobbity was. He was like that for the green monster thing for the uh the guy with the, the 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 white mask i forgot his name that vegeta was bobbing and you know and because buhan is in the game you don't think we're getting regular super boo as well as go tanks uh or boo was it super boo go tanks absorbed i place these characters being in the game at 85 percent so and it, it only makes sense because it the story would fall off if they weren't in the game. Like, what's the point in having these forms if you don't even have the villain that you fought the form with, you know? Because Bardock base form is in the game, they're for sure giving this dude a grade 8 form as well. This would be more in line because his outfit represents Bardock Z and not Bardock Super. I'm sure Bardock Super would have the same thing, like he'll have a costume, but um, this Bardock also fits in line with Super Saiyan Bardock so I don't know maybe that's why they have that old outfit in there to tease that Kid Goku's grade 8 form is going to be in the game because they have Bardock in the game bro Bardock is from a movie so you cannot just only pull one character from a movie it wouldn't make sense that will be too unfair and out of every movie characters the two characters and you guys hear this all the time that gets pulled is Bardock and Broly so Bard uh, Broly has to be in the game as well. You guys can't see it because he's kind of on the edge. But yeah, Bardock or Broly base form, then his Super Saiyan 1 form, then his Rage or Legendary form has to be. Broly has made it into every Dragon Ball Z game, almost every Dragon Ball Z game. And to just take him out of one of your guys' biggest projects and like make us pay for it as like saying that this game is for the fans, you know, you cannot do that. You can't try to give us Broly Super and be like, Nah, we want the Egyptian style looking dude because we have Kid Goku. Some OG villains have to be in the game and that includes King Piccolo and Tao, not Cyborg Tao. Remember, there has to be a cut because I'm going with this with the mindset of only 164 characters and yeah, that's all 19 characters that takes up those slots. And if I zoom out, you guys can now, you guys can now look at my roster as a whole and how all of these characters are justified. And low key, I would be, it's going to hurt, but I will be okay with this roster. And I feel like, like I'm making this now because I want a trailer to drop. I feel like the next trailer is going to be villains because we haven't seen any of Cell's forms or Frieza's forms be showcased at all. Or even like the, the male characters from like Kaba uh, or um, fucking the robots. That's all 164 characters. This cannot be the roster. For one, this doesn't even look like the roster for the demo. Two, like the layout for this roster is so ugly because it's so mismatched. Bandai, if you look at all of Dragon Ball Z games, they at least have characters organized. I'm telling you guys, this roster that they've been showing us is only a spotlight roster. A roster showing characters that they are showing us in their trailers. It's not depicting how much characters are in the game, even though it could. But at the same time, it's like, why would they have Android 18 from the Z Saga take up a slot? And Android 17 from the Super, slot, uh, Super Saga take up a slot? They're... They're only showing us the character from the spotlights from them being in the trailer about this. Like, I, I can't wait until the next trailer drops to debunk my roster because I do want to be disproved. I do want to be shocked that, you know, this isn't coming into terms. But it could even prove my point, which I'm getting into of why I don't think the roster is 164 characters. Uh, I'm trying to zoom in. I also predicted that roster as well. So the 
DLC for this game is 20 plus characters, meaning at least 20 characters. So I can show you guys the characters that are going to at least be on that season pass, which is going to include, let's start off with this left section that I added, Gohan Super, Gohan Super, Super Saiyan 1 form, his ultimate form, and then his beast form. I feel like those are going to be the four characters taking out that 20 slot. Um, then if we zoom out right here, we have Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, of course. Moving up to the bottom right area, I have Piccolo Super. Then we have Piccolo Super Awakened. Then we have Piccolo Super, uh, Super Shinron Transformed. And then, of course, he has a giant transformation. Then we have um, Pan. I feel like they're not going to give us Pan GT, but they would at least give us Pan from Super. Cell Max, for sure. Then if I zoom out right here, I'm going to go over to this left side. You see my boy Goten Super or Goten Teen, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, or Goten Super Heroes is going to be in the game for that DLC. And if we have Goten, we're getting Trunks from Super Heroes. And if we're getting those two, you know we're getting Gotenks from Super. And this Gotenks is important because he's not... That's why I didn't give those kids Super Saiyan 1 forms because Gotenks has never went Super Saiyan in the Super Manga or in the Super Show yet. And I feel like they're saving that for when Goten Super and Team from Goten Super and uh, Trunks Super um, doing their fusion dance correctly. Once they do it correctly, I feel like that's when we're going to get the Super Saiyan form. But that's why they haven't had this dude go Super Saiyan yet because... They, they've been messing up their dance all this time. They're teasing it. And then for the other remaining slots, I'm going to do Goku Daima right here. He's for sure going to be in it because Daima's Videl Super is going to be in the game. They gave her a character for Xenoverse. So they obviously are thinking about her getting back into combat for this game for sure. Then we have Vegeta Daima. They didn't have a picture that I can use for this. So I got Vegeta Jr. That's not... Vegeta Daima, so don't take that picture um, to heart. But yeah, I think that's all the confirmed characters for the DLC. It did say 20 plus, so there is, I'm not even gonna say a high chance. There is going to be more than 20 characters. So I want you guys to guess what characters are going to take up those slots, you know, that would make up the, um, the remaining DLC pack. Now, the characters that I didn't name out of the Tin Kaichi 3 roster are characters that you can group up into OG characters, GT characters, and movie characters. All of those characters, like they all fall into those three categories. There are weird characters like Evil Boo that I feel like should be in the game, a pool, Frieza Soldier, uh, Supreme Kai at least, you know, Nail. Those are um, some characters that like fall into that middle weird category that that makes me feel like the game uh, base roster can't be 160. I'm going to have a whole separate video because we will be here for hours if I explain that part. But I just wanted to give you guys the roster that should be like basically I feel like we can figure out the roster now with all the characters that they've shown us so far. This is I feel like the 100% confirmed character roster for dragon ball sparking zero for this up character right here from the one that you get for pre-ordering the game it could be um it can't be beast gohan because since the way they're handling characters is that they're including their transformations it has to be a character that is a standalone character and since it's a character that never been in a tinkaichi game before the only characters that i can yeah the only one that i can quickly come to mind would be uh android 21 that's it but I want to leave some honorable mentions that could be that, that bonus character. If they have a transformation, ignore me. But these are some characters that I feel like should be in this game um, as honorable mentions. And that's Krillin Jr. He was in the game. Tien Sha was in the Budokai series. Brawly Super Saiyan 3. Vegeta Super Saiyan 3. Hachiak. Android 14. Android 15. Tarbal. Android 21, which we already said, Ginyu Sister, Bardock Super Saiyan, Lord Chill, Aishinron, 
Paragus, Grade 8 Paragus, of course, and Goku Black Super Saiyan. Um, there is a lot of characters that they could add. You know, you can say that these four characters on the slide, on these, um, you know, extra bonus, you know, couldn't be for manga characters. If you guys want to assume manga, if they're watching this, I don't see how you guys would pass up manga characters because that's legit money sitting on the table that modders are most likely going to pick up. But please add manga characters. And those are like uh, a, a new Goku that might utilize Ultra Instinct differently. Vegeta that turns into Ultra Eagle Vegeta, Granola, Granola with using two eyes, um, Gas, Gas's evolved form, Gas's berserk form, uh, Moro's old form his slowly evolved form and then his perfected you know to his his prime form characters like that mirrors right all of those characters could be candidates for sure this game is amazing and i feel like it's the perfect playground for them to just throw in characters that they they should take advantage of this you know this is the unreal engine 5 a new engine they they never used before for this series which is awesome but yeah um I just want to confirm this roster for you guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys are in agreement with me. But I feel like personally, these are you guys are looking at the roster that is going to be in this game. Because I, I can't find no other means of why these characters can't make it into the game. There is room for other characters to be in this game, of course. But the way that the world is, you know, you look at Pokemon, they had to make dex cuts and... I don't know. They, they could use this game to embarrass other companies and try to be the light and make other companies, you know, be like, maybe we should give what the fans want, you know? But at the same time, I respect the company if they're trying to make their money, but they shouldn't abuse it. They shouldn't abuse their fans. That's all I'm saying. But let me know your guys' opinions. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Keep up with the marathon that I'm doing. I'm streaming every day. And yeah, be safe. Uh, stay hydrated and yeah, keep up the grind. I'll see you guys next time. Peace